Hi, I'm Shi Zeng, and I'm a sophomore majoring in computer science in NYU Shanghai. Today, I will introduce my final project in machine learning course, which is called Neural Style Painter. First, let's see what a neural style painter is. As we all know that paintings and photos are two different kinds of images. Paintings have their own art styles, which can provide unique aesthetic experience to audiences. Photos, on the other hand, record a scene realistically and capture content from real life. So what if you want to make the photo looks like it is a painting composed by a famous artist, and let the photo have the art style of a famous painting? Well, this is possible with an algorithm presented by a paper called a Neural Algorithm of Artistic Style, which is to use machine learning method, an uh, artificial neural network, to represent, repaint a photo with the similar style of a painting, while preserving the content in the photo. Now, let's see an example. The upper left is a photo of our beloved Professor Ross, who teaches our machine learning course. Below it is the famous Starry Night painted by Van Gogh. On the right is what we can achieve using Neural Style Painter. As you can see, in the above example, we have a single style image to provide style information, and we already have some very good implementations in Torch and Python. So in my project, I'll first implement Neural Style Painter based on the paper and then modify the painter program so that it accepts multiple style images and paint the photo with several styles merged together. This is an example of repainting a photo of houses using two styles, one from Starry Night one from, and one from the screen. Eventually, we want to achieve the effect of the picture on the right. In the next part, I'll introduce the theory behind the project and also the machine learning technique I used. I used Python to write this program and the Lasagne library in Python that helps to build machine learning model. I also use SciPy optimizers to minimize the loss function, which I'll introduce later. Here is an outline of the program that we are going to go through. The first step is to get image. Images is consisted of pixels, and each pixel contains information of RGB value. The three values of color channels, red, green, and blue, determines the color of each pixel and thus what to show in an image. The image will be converted into a matrix of values with the shape of 3 times height times width. We have the photo to be the content image, and the painting to be the style image. Next step, we'll extract feature from the image matrix. So how to extract feature from a certain piece of image data? We use convolutional neural network in this case. I'll introduce a little bit background. The basic unit in a convolutional neural network is a neural. Basically, it is a matrix dot product. For one value in our data x, we use a weight and an intercept to get an activation value. For a whole matrix of X, we have a weight matrix to calculate dot product. So large weight means that a neuron is very interested in that feature. For example, a round-shaped wheel in a picture of a car and a neuron just get activated by this special round shape. Thus, the result of this calculation we get activation values contains the feature of the data that this neuron think is very interesting. We've seen artificial neurons in machine learning, but one neuron only gets activated to one certain feature. So we need other different neurons to extract other features. A bunch of neurons form one layer, and several neural layers together form a neural network. As you can imagine, the higher the layer is in the neural network, the more ab abstract its activations are, because these layers look at features from lower layers and try to extract features from features. 
Note that the graph of the network is fully connected, which means that we will have a unique weight parameter for every single element in the data matrix. In this project, we are going to use a special kind of neural network, which is called convolutional neural network. This neural network uses filter window consists of neurons and share the weight parameter between the whole image. Instead of trying to derive a weight for every single element in data matrix. Thus, we save lots of computation and are able to build a deeper neural network. Convolutional neural network is very useful in image classification. In this project, we are using VGGNet designed for image classification task. Its weights should be able to help the program to distinguish what is the content of a specific image. Here is the model of VGG19Net used in my program. Lasandro takes care of the internal structure of a neural layer, so I only need to specify which layer to use. From the introduction above, it should be clear that extracting feature is to record the activation value we get from calculation in every layer in the neural network. So we will put both content image and style image into the, into the model, and hopefully it will give us activations in each layer. In this picture, we can see that if we try to reconstruct an image using the activation values we get from the, each layer, it will show blurred version or abstract version of the original picture. This means that we successfully extract the most unique feature of the specific image. To generate the final result we want, first we need a random image. A random image is just a matrix of the same shape with content or style image. That has random generated numbers as its RGB values in each pixel. So you will see a noisy image like this. We will also put the image into the neural network to get some activations. But now, of course, the activation is just some randomly generated nonsense. So we will try to update the random image so that it becomes similar to content and style image. This leads to our next step. We use loss function to fit this random image into the content and style image. Loss simply means difference, and the loss function provides a way to quantify the difference between these images. Content loss is very simple. We just calculate the L2 norm between content image and the random image, and make it half, so we won't get two in gradient of this function. Style loss is a little bit different, because we do not want the exact content of the style image, we should not use a L2 norm as a loss. Instead, we need something that only keeps the abstract texture, color scheme, and general shape of the style image. Thus, we use gram matrix uh, that calculate the correlations between different features in image activations uh, we get from neural network. This mean the mean square distance between the gram matrix of style image and gram matrix of random image can tell us the difference in style with little consideration of content between these two images. Finally, we come to the total loss. We will add unique constant weight to suggest our emphasis on either content loss or style loss. Huge style loss will keep very few content in the generated image, and the original photo will be kind of distorted uh, to fit the style texture. Huge content loss will only change some color in the photo, and the texture of style cannot be seen in the generated image. The last step we need to do is to minimize the loss function. Luckily, we have SciPy optimizer to do it for us. We update our primitive random image with the gradient we get in every calculation of loss function. 
and eventually we'll get the final result. Now let's see if we can add multiple style images at one time. Add a minor style image as the second style image. And a new weight control the emphasis on one specific style image. Note that the weight of the two style images should add up to one. Also, we can crop a part of the image, let's say half of the image, and train it with one style, and train another half with another style, and then add it up together. This should also form a multi-style image. This should, this should get out, give us an effect of a multi-style image using the two methods I mentioned above. For future research, I think that processing the style image with a different structure of neural network will provide us with different activations and features. While the current VGNet is good at extracting feature content features for image classification, what will happen if we train the EVGGNet with paintings with labeled genre and style, for example, Impressionism and Renaissance? This neural net should be able to extract art style feature pretty quickly. Processing style image through this new network should get a completely different result. And this is my final project. Thank you very much for your time.